Alright, alright, alright. So, we have Sonic Prime news, including new character posters, which showcase a couple of redesigns in a few areas, and the release date. I'm gonna keep things quick to the point because I got other things to do, including eating the spicy Takis that the uh, friendly passerby at Walmart promised me would rock my world. Halt, human! Before you may proceed with the video, you need to be scanned to see if you have subscribed to the channel or not. If you wish to survive, subscribe to the channel now. Beat Moop scan successful. Don't forget to like the video on your way out. But remember, all of this content is made possible thanks to the great patrons, and if you would like to become one, you can hit the link in the description below to help Pop Overlord out. Enjoy the video! So, the release date is December 15th, so we've all got plenty of time to play and enjoy Sonic Frontiers before moving on to the next Sonic project. Plus, it'll be like a little early Christmas present. Okay, so starting off with this poster here of Sonic, and boy does he look great. I love this design for Sonic. I especially love his little quilly textures on him. He looks great, and we can see the, the Shadowverse, the, uh, the you know, the, uh, the, I don't know, the, the, the tablet, the glass thing in front of him, shattering, and we can see some pretty normal character designs for Knuckles, Robotnik, and Shadow. But then back here, we can see Rouge in what appears to be some kind of armor. Uh, there's a Tails thing going on here, and he appears to be in like an assassin outfit. We've got Amy in the top, uh, sort of left here, which uh, appears to be kind of like a Terminator kind of Amy, or maybe a sign of roboticization, just like in, you know, Sad AM. So if you were hoping, you know, other dimensions would mean going to different Sonic continuities, as I said, that's not what I think is happening here. I think we're just getting things like Assassin Tails and Knight in Armor Rouge and stuff like that. I mean, I guess if you like the storybook games, this will be up your alley. Now, Sonic's poster is the only one of these to show kind of the Shadowverse, like the glass tablet kind of thing. The rest of them are pretty straightforward character posters, but let's go on to the second one where we've got Knuckles the Echidna, and he's looking great. So... They've kind of been experimenting a little bit in the recent years with Knuckles' bodily proportions from Sonic Boom to the second Sonic movie, you know, just to kind of make him look a bit more strong, you know, his signature thing is his strength and his force, so it makes sense for him to be a little bigger in terms of bodily proportions. Some folks would say Boom was a step too far, but I think we can all agree that the Sonic 2 movie was the perfect sort of bodily proportion for Knuckles, so I guess I'm a little disappointed that here he just appears to be in his modern Sonic proportions portions, which is okay, that's not a problem, but I do think that, you know, making him a little bigger is just the right way to go for Knuckles, you know, it means you don't have to take so much of his word for it that he's actually a strong boy, but, you know, again, I'm liking the fur textures going on here, he looks really nice, it's just subtle enough. Yeah, it's Knuckles for you. I like it. Hell yeah. Next up, we have Amy, and she's received a little bit of a redesign here. Her very wide hoop skirt is now a lot more subtle. She's got these interesting sort of uh, cuff sleeve things going on around her little vest, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, she's also got, you know, the furry textures and stuff, but her proportions appear to be a bit more manageable overall and a bit more balanced than her video game counterpart. She looks a little bit more action ready, and I really like that, but also just the, the creasy details on her boots and stuff just look really, really cool. So yeah, Amy's looking good. Again, it feels like a midway point between sort of the boom design and the video game design with, you know, the less ridiculous look for her hoop skirt. Then we have Tails here, who there really isn't a huge amount to say about Tails in terms of this design. He's pretty much unchanged, but what we can see is they're doing some interesting use of smear frames to represent his Tails in motion, which I think is pretty neat. We don't usually see Tails having a side mouth, but he's got an ever so slight one here. He looks good. You know, I, I think he looks like Tails. That's that's the main thing here. Um, but again, the fur texture is doing him well. I'm liking it. So here we have Dr. Robotnik, or as he's going to go by in the show, Eggman. Not even Dr. Eggman, just he is Eggman. Um, and uh, he's looking good. They've MCUified his red jacket. He's got lines all over it now. He's got his little tech lines all over his red jacket. He looks fine. No, he looks miserable. He does not look like a happy chappy. He's pointing outwards. He's like, you, you stole my ice cream. Again, though, he looks good. He looks like Dr. Eggman. I noticed they've gone very dark with the glasses, where nowadays they tend to go a bit more bluey. Um, it looks creepy. 
He looks very expressive, but he just, yeah, he looks mad. He's, he's not impressed. And then we've got Big the Cat and Froggy. Now, we've been seeing a lot of Big recently with a lot of the Sonic Frontiers gameplay showing off the fishing stages. And Big has definitely received, like, quite a major change in the face department. For starters, he looks pretty cute, you know? Like, I mean, the original Big looks cute, but he looks very vacant. This one looks like he's actually got some stuff going on in his head this time. His eyes are able to focus on one thing, and that's kind of nice. And he no longer has a fish mouth, but I liked the fish mouth. I liked the vacant stare. I don't know, he just looks a little strange to me. I'm not used to this. I especially don't really like the way his mouth looks. Yeah, um, Froggy looks okay, though I don't really have much to say about Froggy. He's a little less wide than I'm used to, but he's okay. I wonder if he's got his tail. I don't see a tail. Froggy's a tailed frog. He's very unique. Yeah, no, um, still, good to see Big getting some recognition, I guess. Then we have Shadow, and we, we all know how Shadow's gonna look in the show. We've seen him in plenty of teaser trailers. He's been quite a focus. Is he friend or foe? I think he should be friend. But, um, he's looking good. You know, he looks like, looks like Shadow. He looks like he's done in all the other promo materials. Uh, yeah, no, it's that, that new art style definitely gives him more of a solid piece for his, uh, chest fur. But I think it works. Yeah, no, Shadow looks good. But, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just happy to see Shadow at the forefront of so much marketing here. He's got his own poster. He's been appearing in a lot of the trailers. Like, yeah, you go, man. Like, we, we need a little more Shadow love. Hold on a minute. What's this? All right, so Rouge then. Ah, they, they made her woke. They covered up her voluptuous titties. Oh, dear. Now, okay, this is something I'm honestly surprised that the games haven't done a lot sooner, to be honest, uh, is uh, make Rouge's appearance, I guess, a bit more appropriate, and I mean that in two ways. For one, you know, you don't necessarily need to put all the children's sexual awakenings in the video game, but two, she actually looks like a spy now, you know? <laughs> She's, you know, a jewel thief, a spy, an undercover agent kind of thing. And yet in the game she's dressing like she's gonna do a, you know, a hit musical number on Broadway. Whereas here, you know, she, she actually looks, you know, like a spy, less like a pop star. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised the games didn't do this sooner. I mean, I, I'd come to expect this as well for like, you know, more of a TV show kind of thing. We haven't seen Rouge in a TV show since Sonic Eggs. And then there's also like, you know, is she gonna be in the movies or not because they're having Shadow. I'd fully expect a design like this. I think a lot of like Western companies and stuff look at Root of that and just say, yeah, that that ain't appropriate, you know? So like, yeah, this, this makes a whole lot more sense. She's still got kind of a heart on her chest. Like she's got a lot of her defining features. It's just, you, you can't see her cleavage anymore, which is, which is a shame because I mean, who hasn't at one point fantasized about doing stuff to a bat? I get it, they don't want to cause another global pandemic, so yeah. Oh, that's everyone, huh? <laughs> that's the lot. Okay, well, um, yeah, those are the Sonic Prime character posters, and I'm liking the way everyone's looking. I like the aesthetic of this show. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, and I'm happy to see, you know, some characters that we haven't seen so much in the marketing yet. So, uh, it's good to know that we're getting quite a bit of Sonic's extended cast in this one. Uh, that's where I'm gonna leave it, guys. You know, comment section is yours. Let me know what you think. Can yeah. <laughs> I say you've made it to the end of the video! Congrats! No, but seriously, thanks a bunch for watching. And just now, I'll be extending a special thanks to the patrons in the $10 tier, who are the astonishing Adam Myers, the ever-so-kind Ken K, the limitless legendary Ray Ray, the marvelous Mr. SP, the spectacular Sergio, and the thunderous That Giordo, which is more evidence that I've really got to stop doing these alliteration adjectives. I gotta find another way to make you guys feel special. One amazing amazing and generous bunch of people. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want to join the ranks of these amazing people right here, the link to my patron is in the description below. Guys, these are not the easiest times in the world financially, so every little bit you folks are donating is doing wonders. I really would love to be able to do YouTube as a proper fully fledged career someday. It might just be a pipe dream, but maybe you guys can prove some people wrong. But of course, if donations aren't your thing, then well, it means plenty to me that you just hit that cute little subscribe button over there. I, 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 I didn't mean hit that way. Well, that's me done for the day. Thanks a whole bunch for your support and have a fantastic day. I'm gonna see you so soon.